A while back I bought this uh, Metabo Futura uh, keyless shock at the uh, local flea market. It's a little rough and it has the uh, worst looking empty two taper ever. But for five euro uh, I was willing to take a gamble. When I uh, got it, it was uh, more than a little uh, tough turning, so uh, it needed some cleanup and uh, lubrication. Um, but at the time, I couldn't get it apart, so uh, I basically lost interest. But now I need to use it in the uh, headstock of the old lathe to do a certain job. Um, so I just spent a lot of time uh, opening this thing up and uh, removing the arbor. So I thought I should some video for uh, anybody out there who also needs to open up uh, this type of chuck. First I needed to uh, remove the arbor because with the arbor the uh, uh, chuck wouldn't fit into the uh, vise. So I heated up the chuck for a while and then gave it a whack with the uh, nylon hammer and it came off easy enough. I suspected that the uh, chuck would come apart at this line between the knurling and the back of the chuck body. So I made a uh, wooden adapter that would fit into the vise and that can hold the chuck. It's a bit tight. So then I took a piece of lead and wrapped it around the chuck so it wouldn't get damaged by this big pipe wrench. Um, with some heating, hammering, more heating, more hammering it eventually came loose. And there was much rejoicing. So after a while I noticed uh, this pin here and uh, at first I thought maybe I need to remove it but it turns out that it uh, is just a register and you can pull the whole thing apart. Easy enough. But uh, you'll have to remember that my chuck was pretty much glued together so it wasn't that obvious uh, at first. I was expecting some ball bearings in here, but uh, none of that. Brown water. So now I'm going to clean this all up coat it with some oil, put it back together and then uh, we will find out if it is uh, still any good. Well all parts are more or less cleaned up and uh, it's time to put it back together.
done. Now, I have a look at this. I'm pretty sure that is because the uh, ball bearings are missing. If we have a look inside. I think the ball bearings are supposed to sit between these two parts. And if you look closely, I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but there is a bit of a ball race here. And the same can be seen here. That's too bad because now I uh, don't have a chuck to use in the uh, headstock. Although I doubt that this thing would be uh, uh, precise enough for my uh, needs. I guess I need to come up with an, uh, plan B. For now if anyone knows what size ball bearings these uh, chucks take, uh, please put it in the comments. To be continued. So now that I uh, basically single handedly told the whole world how to open up a uh, Metabo Futura Futuro, whatever, Chuck. Can somebody please tell me how to open up this uh, Reum Supra uh, Chuck? Um, it's an older model because it uh, still states that it was made in West Germany. And I think they stopped using uh, uh, West Germany when the East and West uh, came back together in the early uh, 90s. I was able to get this top cap off. It splits between the uh, knurling and the lower body, but that only gives you access to the uh, chuck jaws. Supra 0 0.5 to 10 millimeter ZU. No idea what that means. West Germany. This uh, chuck came with my old lathe and it was uh, totally covered in rust but it is uh, still surprisingly good. Anyway, if you have uh, a bright idea how to take this thing apart let me know, put it in the comments.